Hey YouTube, this is Southern Prepper One. The last few days has been exciting for me, and not in a good way. A few months ago, I had a mole that started to look a little different, so I went to the doctor, and he sent me to a specialist, and they went ahead and cut it off and sent it off and got tested. It was precancerous, so he had to go back in and take out a lot more of the skin and flesh and, and get all the cancerous cells, which he did. The, the problem was he had some internal stitches and then some external stitches and they were in for two weeks. Uh, when he took them, took the stitches out, the last two stitches on this side had grown into the skin. Uh, so when they took them out, there was actually a cut on this side right here. The, what they did was they took Steri strips and covered the full wound and made me keep those on for almost a week uh, to, so that wouldn't open up again. Problem was I got an infection. Uh, the infection does not hurt. So you might have an infection and you, you don't feel the pain and you don't take care of it. But I knew as soon as I saw some pus and it started to turn red, uh, I had a problem. It's been getting worse. They went ahead and Saturday I sent a picture to them because it was getting very bad. And they called in a strong antibiotic for me. It was on Saturday. I couldn't get it because the pharmacy had already closed. So all of Saturday I've been putting it in this five gallon bucket. I've been using salt in it and soaking it. I soak it probably four or five times every day, which I think is very helpful. I can see definitely uh, a big plus. So Sunday morning, my wife went and she picked up our antibiotics, a very strong doxycycline. I took it Sunday, and both times I took it Sunday, just by chance I had stuff in my stomach. Uh, the directions say don't. So Monday morning, I said, you know what, I'll take it first thing in the morning. I'll have an empty stomach and that will be good so I'll absorb a hundred percent of the medication. The problem was doxycycline is very strong and it upset my stomach to the point I threw up. I uh, felt miserable. I was planning already on Monday going back to my family doctor to have them look at it. Uh, they looked at it and sent me to my uh, the skin and cancer doctor and because it was definitely it's infected. Uh, as you can see all this stuff I've been using First, I want to talk about the five gallon bucket. I needed to soak it. I have bigger totes, but the problem is if you use a big tote, you have to have that much water. Let's talk about a survival situation where you don't have your infrastructure. I use four and a half gallons of warm water every time. Plus, I use hot water to clean this before I put my foot in it, and then every time afterwards. So I'm using a lot of hot water. Also, every time I put my foot in there, I have to take it out, I dry it off, I use a towel try to use a clean towel. So we have had so much wash. So many towels are being used just to keep this thing clean. In a survival situation, if you don't have your hot water for your laundry, uh, if you don't have your washing machine, it is going to be a struggle just to take care of one patient and one infection. I have used so much of my supplies. Luckily, I try to stock a ton of it. And I'll show you what I've been doing, uh, trying to develop a clinic. I used two full one of these containers and this much just in salt just on this one injury one infection so if you only have a few of these thinking you're going to be fine for seasoning you're going to use it up quickly so buy salt put it put it away in five gallon buckets and buy it 50 pounds at a time and put it back i've used so many four by fours gauze um, bacitration is excellent product i've been using we went through probably a whole box of Kleenexes. Kleenexes aren't sterile, but when it drips, we use it to clean it up so it doesn't get down on my sock. We have consumed so many supplies. Um, so if you just have a little basic first aid kit, yeah, that's going to be fine for 30 minutes of a, of a problem, but after that, you're going to be in some serious trouble. So I recommend getting more supplies. Um, hot water. I've been using hot water to wash every time I touch it, every time you know we need to do something with it to keep it clean. We're using lots and lots of hot water. So you might be a prepper and you've stocked a lot of food, you've put back a lot of uh, guns and ammo, and urge you, medical supplies are important. This little infection, uh, if not taken care, could definitely kill a person in a survival situation. They went ahead and tested it. Hopefully tomorrow I'll find out what exactly I have in there. Um, the redness has definitely shrunk, but the problem is, um, I don't know if you can see that, I pushed it down twice this morning, I'm trying to get everything out, and it's working, and the doctor wants me to push, push all that stuff out, get all that infection and pus up, 
if, if you can look right there, I'm going to push right there. You see, that's almost a quarter inch indention right there. That is pus. That is junk that needs to be out. Um, so I'm going to slowly move that out and it will come out there. I don't want to do it on camera because it is gross. This morning when I did it for the first time, it shot from here all the way down my uh, ankle and on my foot. Um, but it's the necessary. If I don't push it out, uh, the do I'll have to go to the doctor and he'll push it out. The longer that stays in there, uh, the worse I get. I'm on antibiotics now, uh, so hopefully I'll be okay. I'm going to visit my doctor tomorrow morning. Uh, he's going to look at it and then we're going to see what if we're doing everything right or if we need to change course. Uh, but the little things, an infection in a survival situation can kill you uh, quicker than a bullet can. Thanks for watching.